Hello, my name is Michael Pierce. I'm a software quality engineer and a member of the IEEE USA, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Today, I have an engineering challenge for you. Design a boat made only of aluminum foil that holds as many pennies as possible mm -hmm, before it sinks or capsizes. You can find the written instructions for this activity at discover.org. Okay, there are three constraints to keep in mind with this challenge. One, you can only use one piece of aluminum foil. Two, the square of foil must measure five inches by five inches. Yep, five inches by five inches. Now three, the boat has to hold at least 15 pennies without sinking or capsizing. Hold at least 15 pennies without sinking or capsizing. Now here are the materials you need. Aluminum foil, a ruler and scissors to measure and cut five inch squares of aluminum foil, a few to test your ideas and one for your final design a shallow bean or a sink to fill with a few inches of water and lots of pennies. No pennies, no worries. Just collect coins that are all the same, like dimes or nickels. Also keep a towel handy in case you have any spills. Mm -hmm. Now, as you start brainstorming designs for your boat, think about the shape of your hull. The hull is the body of a boat. Its shape depends on what the boat is designed to do. Power boats have V-shaped hulls that help them travel fast. Barges have flat bottom hulls that help them carry heavy loads. Which all shape do you think will hold the most pennies before it sinks? Think about that. Try out a few designs with some practice squares of aluminum foil to see which one you want to test. Remember the word test. When you're ready to build, use a fresh piece of aluminum foil to make the boat into the shape you've chosen. And when it's time to test, uh-huh, a lot of testing, set the boat in the water and start Hiding pennies. Watch carefully. Is the boat starting to lean as you're hiding the pennies? Help the boat stay upright by hiding pennies in a different part of the boat. As you hide pennies, notice whether the boat changes shape, tilts strongly to one side, or springs a leak. Keep hiding pennies until the boat sinks. Now, how many pennies could your boat hold before it sank? Did you meet the challenge of 15 pennies? If your boat sank fast, no worries. Next time, try distributing the pennies more evenly and see if it stays afloat longer. Distribute more evenly. Did your boat tip over before it sank? Think about how you could change its shape to keep it better balanced. Then make changes to your design and try again. Again, you can find the written instructions for this activity and many more at discovere.org. And most importantly, have loads of fun with this challenge. 